What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of ZFK Everything. I'm your host, ZFK. Uh, this is the show that knows no bounds, where we discuss anything and everything. I'm here with my good friend, uh, Antonio David. I just it? pronounced the word friends really weird. Anyways. No, it's all good. This guy uh, is into uh, a lot of interesting uh, stuff and he's out of the box and he's he's introduced me to a couple of uh, interesting things that I'm really into in life right now. So I uh, wanted to have him on and I wanted to talk about uh, a social network that kind of breaks out of the box uh, in terms of how it works in the algorithm. Um, as you know, some traditional platforms for social media are very difficult to grow uh, on as a, as a content creator. This network, uh, not only can you grow faster, uh, it also pays ad dividends, depending on how successful you are with your posts. Um, so as an, uh, as, a, as an alternative to Instagram and just another place to post content and actually make a few bucks doing it, um, I think it's a great idea. So Antonio, I'd love for you to uh, expand more on what uh, mm -hmm. Sue is. Uh, TSU network is pronounced Sue. Sue. And uh, I will have you know that Sue has actually lived two different life cycles. At, at one point it was around for a few years and then was uh, taken off the market. Um, then it was purchased up by a new CEO or something? Yep, uh, John, of... John, John Acunto. Okay, so he's friends John with the Acunto. CEO too. Uh, that's how passionate Antonio is about uh, Sue. And uh, yeah, the the new uh, CEO, John, kind of scooped up this business and, and revived it in what year? This was, it was acquired in 2019. Okay, and the original Sue was and in And the original Sue was 2014, uh, uh, near the end of it. Um, a lot of the um, Sue owners, they've kind of branched off and they're doing their own thing now. Uh, nobody's really involved from the previous Sue with the new Sue. Um, the, the new, the, the old Sue, I, uh, hopped on in October of 2014. Uh, their, the, the structure that they had, uh, worked in like infinite of thirds. So it kind of shied away from a lot of, uh, I, I believe the big influencers because they kind of see it as that like pyramid level, yes. um, scheme, uh, when you earn. So if I invited Zach, I earn 33% and I would also earn from his referrals. So it kind of branched off um, in like different ways. And I find that earning on that was a lot uh, easier than uh, the new Sue. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of the... How much do you used to make on the old Sue? Um, on the old Sue? Uh, so as soon as I hopped onto the platform, I was only getting about like five cents a day. So if you look at people on Spotify and uh, other um, platforms that pay uh, dividends, uh, you'll see like it's micro pennies. So you have to start somewhere. So I always tell people that if they want to take this road of earning online, uh, content first and then money. So what I uh, appreciate about Sue again is uh, they have an algorithm that isn't as restrictive as Instagram. Um, I've been telling people that I'm close with for some time, I'd like to do a video on the Instagram algorithm and kind of how it, it does screw creators. Uh, as much as I love Instagram, they, they don't do it justice to uh, a lot of uh, content creators, and I think they're more concerned with uh, making money off their users, which is fine, they're a business, right? But uh, the old Instagram used to be better. So I think that Sue is a good alternative uh, for a few big reasons. You can make ad dividends off your posts, okay? Where else are you gonna do that besides like YouTube or something, but you can do this with just still photography. Uh, and that's what I've been using it for since I signed up in July. I just, I post uh, old content because I have a massive archive um, database of old photos, right? So it's easy for me to just kind of post here and there. Their hashtag limit is smaller to 15. That makes it faster to post. I, I kind of hate doing up to 30 uh, hashtags on Instagram, although it does help you get a better reach on your post. Um, the referral program is also neat because it's a smaller and more uh, infantile kind of social network. Um, it's actually private. You have to get a referral link from someone else in order to join, and that's where you make a cut of their um, ad revenue. And I see nothing wrong with that. That's that's good. Um, this is definitely not a pyramid scheme. This is just a unique way of marketing a new social media. 
Um, and, and most importantly, something you can't do with Instagram, you will get your account to banned or shadow banned. You cannot hyper follow people on Instagram. Uh, I used to do that and my account grew rapidly from like no followers to 2000 within about uh, two months in 2017, uh, pre, uh, pre algorithm switch on Instagram in August, 2017. On Sue, I've managed to grow to almost 8,000 followers uh, within probably two months. Um, I put a little bit less uh, effort into it as of recent, but uh, we'll be getting back to it. And uh, yeah, you can just hyper follow people and grow your account. And, and my thought with Sue is that because it's an early app technology, if it does become mainstream and blow up and you've managed to garner yourself a few tens of thousands of followers on Sue, you better bet that that audience and following is going to uh, trickle down into the traditional social media streams like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, right? If you build a good brand, doesn't matter on what platform, people will try and find you and seek you on other social media platforms. Yeah, that's, um, I, I really like how um, with uh, Sue, uh, the old one they did have, um, when you opened up in the settings, you could attach your uh, Instagram, your Facebook, so you could sync your post, which is, which is amazing. You used, you used to be able to do that? You used to be able to do that. That's why. Uh, now, because it's still in um, alpha or it's like a beta mm -hmm. version, uh, they still haven't come out out with that yet so once they roll out with that um, we're hoping that it could uh, bring uh, some of the instagram and uh, youtubers on board and they just have to keep uh they have to keep up that's with social media like instagram you get an update constantly innovate they constantly innovate but yeah. the updates like how quick are they like facebook fast, like it's yeah. like literally a day or even sometimes like on the same day like you have to update and uh, with Sue, that's going to be their biggest uh, challenge. Uh, it's just keeping up uh, updated with uh, new features and stuff. And uh, they've done a really uh, good job with that. And I'm not sure, did you know that now we have uh, gold users and diamond users? So yeah, so this is like, this is like really recent. Uh, what happened uh, is that you'll get a, a cut, like a monthly cut at the end of the month, if you're a diamond or a gold. Yep. So I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but they're going to be paying out a bit more, which is which is great. Now, what what uh, distincts one as a diamond or gold user? Do you have to like get so, a certain amount of followers? Yeah. So you have to, So it also uh, is how many people um, you invite. Okay. But what I would love to see them do is that if you're already a big user on another platform, and if you share your profile, you should be kind of grandfathered in already. Okay. Which would be pretty awesome yeah um how many followers do you have on uh sue so right now i'm around thirteen thousand. okay uh the old sue i was at uh, 65k wow uh and that was just crazy so we know you love sue um obviously it's not the only social media you use but where where is your place as like a uh online influencer on an on online influencer, uh, Instagram. Instagram's like everybody's on it. Uh, you can get a lot of um, engagement. Um, I have been talking a little bit about uh, business on my Instagram, but I wanna try and transition into a, uh, a fitness and a like a clothing model. So just branding a um, fitness attire. Okay. And uh, one of the fitness attires I'm uh, gonna be branding, it's uh, called One. I'm not sure if you've seen it on Instagram yet. Might have, yeah. I um, I actually picked up some uh, gear from them. Uh, I got a tank top and then I got some joggers. So Sorry. once I do a post uh, with them, uh, they're gonna highlight me on their on their page, which has over half a million uh, followers. So solid, man. Yeah. Uh, where would you like to see Sue go in the future? In the future, uh, like we were both kind of saying, is is mainstream. Like we yeah. want it to last longer than two years. Like the yeah. original Sue, like if you were a user of the original Sue, you like you would have really have like had a better grasp of what um, when they closed down, how frustrating it was because a lot of people like you're able to grab a lot of followers in such mm -hmm. a quick time. Yeah, that was also the the original sue you're able to gather a lot of followers and you have um once you made it to a certain 
um, once you established yourself, you would uh, be getting automatic follows. Yeah. So that was cool. That, that, that was the cool about the algorithm. Yeah. But what the old, what the new suit needs is having that automatic follow. So once a new user joins the platform, they don't have to search on like the, the Sue live to grab you as a follower. Uh, they'll just automatically, you'll be on a list. Mm -hmm. And once the person joins, they'll automatically give you the follow. Okay. Right so on. it grows you quicker. And yeah. you don't have to really hyper follow that way. Yeah, it's like so, more organic, right? More organic, yeah. And like that's what we all want at the end of the day. It's like more organic social media networks, yeah. um, which I think is something that Instagram is kind of straight away from. Um, but again, we'll, I want to cover this in another video, how the algorithm works. Um, it seems that in today's age, everything is about algorithms. It affects our lives pretty heavily, especially in the social media age, you know? No, it, uh, it, it definitely does. Like a lot of people are driven by um, the numbers, sadly. Uh, there are a lot of people though on Instagram that I follow that they do post like amazing content or even on Sue, they post amazing content mm -hmm. and they have a lower follow count, but they're just kind of getting overlooked by quality over quantity. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forget what I was going to say about Instagram. Uh, yeah, fuck, man, I can't remember. But uh, look, we wanted to make a quick video about uh, Sue. I think it's a really valuable resource for content creators, big and small. It's a place uh, where you can grow faster. It's a place uh, that you can share with your friends to make uh, little extra royalties. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have a database uh, of uh, content to use up, where better, uh, where better place to put on uh, Sue, man? So. Really, uh, we just wanted to make this video quick and, and close off. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about Sue before we uh, wrap this up? Uh, right now, I can't really, nothing really. Um, we covered a lot, so. Yeah, for sure, man. All right. It. Well, it was good to have you on for uh, Sue. Yeah, man. Next episode uh, taking place in the next five minutes is going to be about uh, another a uh, little treat that uh, Antonio has turned me on to uh, called Pi, and we're excited to tell you about it. Uh, this is ZFK Everything. Uh, peace out till next time.